Here's my test results for 50,000 miles using bypass filter. I did two runs. I did one run of 10,000 miles with the bypass filter and another run of 10,000 miles without the bypass filter. It was valved off and then the last 1,500 miles I turned it back on to see if it would clean the oil. My base number went critical at 10,000 miles each time. Base is the ability to absorb acid. It's basically soap which is in the oil. It's an additive. So you change your oil when your base number gets too low which red was telling me to change it. Here's the actual particle counts and in the summary of the test I can't see any conclusive standing out. Let me show you here. Okay, on the 20 micron, which is what your main filter is rated at, at, at 5,000 miles, it's 12 micron with the bypass. No bypass, the oil is actually cleaner at 5,000. Now, at end of life, 25 parts. 36 so okay at 20 micron it seems like the bypass is a little bit cleaner and by the way all these oil tests were rated as very clean oil even though the oil looked uh, dark now we go to a smaller let's go to 6 micron the oil is actually cleaner at the beginning with no bypass and then at the end it's a little dirtier with no bypass. So that seems a little strange, maybe because I didn't change the oil in the bypass itself. Usually I would just leave the bypass filter. And then at 4 micron, the oil is dirtier with no bypass, but not very much dirtier. And the thing that's troubled me the most is that this final run, when I turned the bypass back on, I would have expected the oil to get cleaner because I didn't change anything, I just opened the valve. And in all cases, the oil got dirtier by turning on the bypass. So I got totally inconclusive data here. And what I'm going to do is try a different filter. Now, the filter I was using. It's basically the AMS oil, 2 micron, and it's a felt. As you can see, you know, a lot of felt. It's folded up tight. One thing, though, that I didn't like about this is that where the screw is, where the threads are at the bottom, let me show you a picture here. Oil's just going to leak right through those threads and totally miss the felt. That's, this doesn't seem like that great of a design for making the oil very pure. And uh, so I found another type of uh, oil filter. It's this company, Triple R, and they have a data sheet here. This is called a cellulose depth filter. And some guys actually use toilet paper rolls but they make their own cartridges and there's different uh, grades of cartridge but basically it's dense cellulose I got another data sheet for that it's dense cellulose that the oil has to go all the way through and they're claiming it's 2 micron you can see here it goes up the middle and then it goes down it has to go through all that basically paper is where it comes out and they're saying they have the best filtration possible so I'm gonna try this one out and see what it does run the test again and especially I want to see it where it can actually clean the oil you know for me because they're showing now this is basically diesel guys that use this and I'm using it for gasoline but if you think about it, this is similar to your high quality water filters. 
and you're filtering any water, you're going through a deep, a deep uh, cellulose type filter. So I'll run the test again. It's going to be a few months. I got to order this stuff. Nobody seems to sell it. I'll get the distributor. This is the beauty of YouTube. I can show results. I couldn't find any results on YouTube with this brand at all. And so, but you'll see it with the particle counts and we'll see if it uh, makes the oil cleaner. That's the idea. But right now for the regular two micron felt, yeah, I really didn't see much improvement there. I mean, it might be better if the engine is older and it has a lot more soot leaking through, but this is uh, this my next step, try a better filter. Hope you like watching the video. Thanks for watching.